Solar window blinds can block and harvest sunlight. A California startup has designed window blinds with solar panels that can block out sunlight while harvesting solar energy from it. Each slat in solar window blinds is equipped with monocrystalline solar panels, which can harvest solar energy. The blinds can also track the path of the sun's position and automatically change the angle of the slats to optimize its absorption of sunlight. The company claims the blinds are able to generate up to 100 watt-hours of energy for every square meter when mounted on the outside of a window, or half that amount when mounted inside. Although the slats can automatically change their angles, the blinds can also be manually controlled via an app. The company is hoping to raise $50,000 from Kickstarter in order to mass-produce the solar window blinds. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Renewable energy is the way of the future. Quantum dot coding can turn windows into solar panels. Researchers at the Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico have developed a film of quantum dots that can turn windows into photovoltaic systems. When sunlight hits conventional silicon solar panels, electrons break free of the top layer of semiconducting material. The electrons then follow conductors between the positive and negative sides of the panel to generate an electrical current. Quantum dots, which have an inner core, an outer shell, and a silica coat, can be used as semiconductors. Quantum dots can be spread into thin sheets that are placed onto glass window panes. When photons from sunlight hit a quantum dot, it excites the electron in the valence band and sends it into the conduction band, leaving a hole behind. When the electron recombines with the hole in the valence band, a new photon with lower energy is generated. This new photon then propagates within the glass via internal reflections. Energy is generated when the propagating photons reach the window's frame where solar cells are stored. Coatings of quantum dots can be used on any window to turn them into harvesters of sunlight at lower cost than is currently available. Los Alamos-based startup Ubiquitous Quantum Dots has received a $225,000 grant from the National Science Foundation to commercialize this technology as a coating on windows. Rain or shine, future solar panels may be able to generate power. Scientists in China are producing solar panels that can produce energy from the last source you'd expect when we're talking about solar energy, rainwater. In a typical solar panel, photons from a light source knock electrons free from atoms within the panel, and the action generates a flow of electricity. Although solar power technology has been getting increasingly efficient, there is still the tiny problem that solar cells can't produce any power when it's raining. Researchers are introducing a new type of solar panel by adding a layer of graphene or carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb structure to dye sensitized solar cells. A flexible layer of indium tin oxide and plastic is included underneath. Graphene has unusual properties that allow electrons to move freely throughout the entire layer. Rainwater contains positively charged ions like ammonium, calcium, and sodium. When water binds to the panel surface, a double layer of positive ions and negatively charged electrons is created, which ends up producing a voltage and current. Tests of the new solar panels have been able to produce hundreds of microvolts, which is small even compared to a standard AA battery. So there's a long way to go before the new solar panels become more widely used, but more efficient future versions could mean big things for the solar industry. Amazon is constructing a wind farm that contains 100 turbines. Amazon has announced a new project that aims to result in renewable energy that will power thousands of homes across America. Amazon Wind Farm Texas is underway. The diameter of each wind turbine will be two times the wingspan of a Boeing 747 plane. The farm in Scurry County, West Texas, will be comprised of more than 100 wind turbines in total. The wind turbines will generate an estimated 100,000 megawatt hours of wind energy every year, enough to power close to 90,000 homes in the United States. The latest development by the company, along with four other clean energy projects, should generate 2.6 million megawatt hours of energy each year to power more than 240,000 homes. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Australian firm builds underwater buoys to tap ocean swell energy. 
An Australian company has been working on a system that uses underwater buoys to convert sea waves into zero emission energy and desalinated water. Australian firm Carnegie Wave Energy has been developing a system called CETO, which aims to utilize sea waves to generate power. Steel-made buoys that can currently generate 240 kilowatts are the main part of the system. At the test site at the Australian naval base, HMAS Stirling, three buoys were placed 11 kilometers apart. The buoys are less susceptible to extreme weather damage, while underwater waves are sufficient to generate power. The buoys' pumps drive the high-pressure water to an onshore power plant via a subsea pipe. The high-pressure water spins the turbines, which then generates zero-carbon electricity. The CETO system can be used to power a desalinization plant as well. High-pressure water can be used to remove salt from seawater through reverse osmosis. The Australian company believes that the cost of the electricity generated by the CETO system will be competitive with diesel if it is deployed at a large scale.